Hi everyone, it's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage and I'm here with a haul from the most amazing yard sale ever. I actually know the lady that ran it and she used to be a member of my art group and she and I still get together with some other people and do art. Um, so I know what kind of things she collects. I know the amazing things in her house. I know, um, I just know the awesomeness involved and I've actually been to another of her yard sales in years past and, and really made out with wonderful things. So when she told me she was having a yard sale, I put it on my calendar immediately and I was like the first one in her backyard. <laughs> and I was not disappointed. I got some wonderful things. So at any rate, let me get started. I'm probably going to have to divide this into two or at least switch the way I'm filming because I got an awful lot of smalls this time. And I want to make sure that you guys can all see those smalls by um, doing some close-ups on them. So some of the smalls that are not tiny, I'll show you here. But And I've got some other big stuff. So, yeah. You ready? All right. Let's get started. Um, so speaking of the smalls, I got this. And as I go along, if I remember the prices, I'll let you know. Um, I spent a lot of money there. Oh, my gosh. I never spend this kind of money. Fortunately, I didn't give my husband the grand total but I did tell him the sum of some of the pieces parts so you know I mean I don't know but I basically all my spending money for two weeks I spent at her sale and then I had her put some things aside for me for another time um, but I got this this is one of those printers um, block things and I got this because I'm partial to the number five um, she said she had more of these and I and she could go find them for me and I'm like okay well yeah I'm interested maybe but I got this because I wanted the number five um, she had this flower frog I got this flower frog um, which way do I go all right let's show you this I got this cute little tin um, what is this called? A high chair. Um, this was $5. Got that. She had a whole tray of these awesome pigs. <laughs> and I guess I like pigs. I don't know. I didn't know I liked the pig ceramics. Except that if you've watched some of my videos, you've seen the pig things show up in the past because I like pigs. But she had a whole tray of these pigs. Now this one's not marked, but isn't that pig adorable? I just love it. There's that pig. I'm trying to put these out of the way, so. <laughs> There's that pig. Isn't he cute? And he is also not marked, but he's adorable. Then I got um, this cute little dog. Look at his eyes. Look at those eyes. They're just crazy. And he is made in occupied Japan. Oh, and let me tell you, she wanted... Oh, between $3 and $2. I don't remember which one was which, but I think these might have been $3. Oh, I think the pigs were $3. I think this little guy was $3. And I think that um, this guy was $2. But I thought he was really cute. And he's also made in Japan. So very cute. There, She actually had a whole big tray of them, and I had grabbed all of them and put them aside. But when I went to check out, I told her, she says, well, what's your limit? You know, what do you have to spend? And so I told her and she goes, all right, let's do the things you got to have first and then we'll go from there. And so we did. And in the end, I had to give back the tray of other stuff. And it's funny because the tray of other stuff would have been stuff I would have just simply resold. But as you know, I'm not doing a whole lot of that reselling yet. We're working on that. So a lot of it was just stuff that I needed for me. <laughs> like I need anything for me. But anyway, so I digress. Let's go on. Um, this cute little vintage um, baby bed. I don't know what's underneath, but she had $2 marked on that. And I have a lot of little stuff in here, but I'll put that in the next video so you can see that later. Um, this is cute. To remember what I show you and what I don't show you. <laughs> that cute. That was uh, this little guy was a dollar. I got him. This little rooster. Look at him. He's all cloth and stuff. He's I think he's newer. Um, and he was fifty cents. 
And I got a whole bunch of, because um, she's big into the mixed media like I am. So I got a lot of uh, mixed media type stuff. So I got this vintage uh, box of stuff. And my dog came downstairs. We'll see if he's going to come and poke me and tell me he wants out. I'm filming a video. It's like a child. Anyway, so this had these little arithmetic cards in there. So I got that. Then I got, I got a whole bunch of them, but they're different. I'm going to show you a little bit of them because they're different, different patinas and whatever. And some of these I looked at, um, some of them showed me the date and some of them didn't. I think these are from the 1920s or 30s. These, this box of stuff, I'll put it so you can see it. You don't need to see my face. You need to see the box. Anyway, so here's these cards. Okay. A bunch of those. I like the patina on those. Those are cool. Got those. Got this is kind of an interesting thing. This is newer. Um let's see if there's a date in here. 1948. Yeah, that's newer. 1948 for these. And these are um it's a little game with these things on there for, um, what does it say, syllables, sight syllable solitaire, and the backs look like that, or like that, so that's cool. Uh, somebody must be making a delivery. My dog hates the Amazon truck, hates it, and he also hates the postman. Um, very, sorry about the bump, very stereotypical dog, right? He'll go crazy when he hears the postal carrier coming, yeah, the mail truck, which I think is what's going on right now. So I apologize for my dog. This is very fascinating, right? Um, of course, nobody should use it for its intended purpose, but very old. And they're full. It's full of saccharin packages. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's see if we can continue. Anyway, this is what's inside of that. These little, um, come on, focus. Focus. Oh, you know, you think if you're going to fill the screen with it, it would focus, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway, the saccharin packets in there, that's what those are. And I thought that that was kind of a neat, neat thing. I got two boxes of those. Two boxes. I'm trying to. I got a lot of stuff here. Trying to find places for them so I know what I've shown you and I can get to the stuff that I have. It. I got a whole box of flashcards. And again, I like the patina on those. Those would make nice um, art projects. Kind of like. Um, collage bases. I don't know what I'm trying to think of the word. Let's go on more of these. I'm trying to move quickly. This is little letter cards. And you can see in the box all those little letters. Aren't those cute? Those are great. <laughs> Makes me a collage. I don't know why I did that. Guys, I'm weird. Just, I'm just saying. Um... Got this, and this is very similar to the other one. The box is very cool, and so is the um, thing. And there are all the little 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 letters in there. It's a tongue twister. All right. Let's see. I got a couple more of those I can show you. Oh, this one is really cute. This, is there a date on this? No date. But look at these, you guys. Aren't these cute? Oh, these are adorable. Those would be really cute and stuff. Whole box of those. Oops, I'm stuck. I was stuck. Here's some more of these. Let's see if these, I think these might have a different, oh, these are real similar to the other ones. Did you see that long enough? I'm really quick. <laughs> Sorry. 
trying to get through the video. All right, so I showed you all of those. I don't think I have any more box things over there. She used to own a business. Um, she used to sell her vintage and antique stuff different places. So I would got a few things that were already prepackaged. And that price that was on there is not what I paid because she was, you know, pricing things to get rid of. But these are old um, perfume bo boxes, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what those are. And I think they just happen to be, I didn't particularly pick those out. All right, so let's move on to these. These are awesome. <laughs> so, so while I was there, like I said, I was the first one there. They were still pulling stuff out. She had somebody helping her, and she was still pulling stuff out. And um, I would be going through something, and I'd see her pull something out, and I'd be like, ah! And I'd go grab that to myself. <laughs> this was one of those things. Um, this is These are so awesome, and you've probably seen in other videos of mine. I think I may have had one where I had a couple of these, like two that I found at a yard sale and I was so excited about it. I don't find these in the wild ever. And, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, and when I do, I've never paid less than $5 for one and that um, may have even been on a half price day, which is astonishing that it was there, but I don't know. I don't think, maybe I've gone earlier, but at any rate, so, she had this whole pile of, well, I'll show you the whole pile, handkerchiefs. And those are little kids' handkerchiefs, children's handkerchiefs. And so I had them, I was making a pile um, at her yard sale, and she came over and saw those, and she goes, oh, she said, just so you know, she goes, those are $3 a piece. Those are ch children's handkerchiefs, so they're actually quite valuable. And she's right, because... Even though I said that I haven't, I haven't paid less than five dollars. These can sometimes go fifteen dollars, thirty dollars, or more. So she told me they were three dollars a piece. I'm like, well, that's okay, that's all right. I want them. So at any rate, let me show you what I got, and then I'm going to show you what she did, or I'm going to tell you what she did for me at the end. But here's this guy, and I'm going to show you these individually because these are awesome. You have to, everybody's going to love these. If you don't, I don't know what's up with you. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to say something else, but all right. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. This is cute, but this, I don't even know if you can see it. There are roosters and dogs or bears on them, and it is so old and faded that you can hardly see those things. This. I'll hold it this way so you can see the pattern. Look. I don't know whether it's a kitty cat or what it is, but it's very sweet. This little... Ch oh, you know what? I, I said before I didn't know why I did that. I do know why I did that. I'm trying to project my voice. Let me know if this sounds better to you. Because I have a tendency, I think, when I'm talking to the camera, which is too, you know what, 20 inches away from my face... I have a tendency to mumble, so I'm trying not to mumble and to project my voice like I would be talking to my father. <laughs> um, at any rate, so here's this guy. Oh, this one's really sweet. I like this one. Here's that one. Look how cute that is. I like that one too. This one. I love the colors in that one. That's just gorgeous. This is probably one of my favorite ones. <laughs> it has a pig on it. Go figure. <laughs> this is another favorite. I like this one. This one, I'll leave it in the bag was in a bag, and the bag says $12. So I think she bought it for $12 originally. Now, here's some interesting ones. Do you see this? Do you see that little copy right down at the bottom? This is old, and look, 
This is before they standardized Mickey and what Mickey looked like. That one's going to be, I haven't really looked up. I briefly looked up comps on these, but I didn't get anywhere with them. There's, or I don't remember what I saw. There's this guy. Now, here we go back into this. This doesn't have a copyright on it, but this certainly looks like Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. And when I first looked at this, I thought, you know, that it was a knockoff, of course, because it doesn't look like Mickey Mouse. But then the one that says Disney on it looks like Mickey Mouse. So, I don't know. I don't know. I think, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that the Disney Corporation probably always was very protective of their intellectual rights and had copyrights on everything, but... I don't know, you know? Do you know? Because <laughs> I don't. I don't know why these all have the letter H on them. Maybe that was the initial of whoever owned them. I don't know. This one is really old. Look at that. It's got some staining on it and stuff, but really old and very neat. It's Jack and Jill. Very cool. This one is little Bo Peep who lost her sheep. I'm a little snap happy this afternoon. I don't know why. I've been working all day. We're back to the fall routine, so I've been working for my other company. So I've been spending a couple hours every day doing stuff for them. And then trying to do YouTube videos. Oh, I know probably why I'm slap happy because, oh, sorry about the bounce. I did, I edited all morning a, a video that I'm, you know, posting now that'll be scheduled for a few days later. But well before you see this one, <laughs> I'm actually quite behind on videos. I have a couple videos from the summer that I still want to post and I'm going to. One is of an auction that I went to that um, you guys, I think, would be very interested in. So I'm still going to do those. But since I published the one with D and I, I wanted to make sure that I continued um, posting ones from that same trip close together. And since on my Instagram, I made a, a point about the, um, the sale, I wanted to get to this one pretty quick, too. So here's this. But the other ones are out of order. You may or may not recognize that they're out of order because I don't think I saved the dates in them, but this guy, that's cute. Cute, cute, cute. This one has a little hole in it, but it's still adorable. Still adorable. This one's a kitty cat one. You see all the little kitty cats on there? Playing with balls of string. I like this one too. This one's a favorite of mine. This is another favorite of mine. Now these ones, oh, let me show you another one of the kids' ones. I have a couple that are not children's that happen to be in the same pile. This is a little bit bigger. Can you see that? I'm peeking over. It's a cowboy one. It's really cool. I like that. All right, these two are gorgeous, but they're not children's handkerchiefs. But look at the colors on those, on that one. <clears throat> and then this one, look at the beautiful colors on that. Isn't that gorgeous? They're very gorgeous. So I was so excited to get those, and I was happy to get them at $3 a piece. Now, mind you, at $3 a piece, there are 30 handkerchiefs here. That would have been $90 of handkerchiefs. But my friend, after she got done counting them all out and everything, gave them to me for a dollar a piece. I'm a happy girl. Okay, so um, probably the good majority of these I'm going to keep myself, and I have to come up with a way to display them. I think I'm going to try to display them in my downstairs basement studio because there's less access to sunlight down there, um, which I don't want to, I don't want them to fade. 
Um, so at any rate, so I'm going to try to do that, but some of them I'm going to sell. So you keep an eye out for that. Some of them, some of them I will pass on and share. All right. Now the next thing is awesome. And I think I never knew I liked these until I saw her, my friend with these <laughs> and tis the season for these. And if you follow me on my Instagram, you probably already saw. <laughs> Isn't this awesome? And this one doesn't, her eyes doesn't, what? They're supposed to. Yep, they close. I don't know if you can see. But they close. The eyes open and close. Ooh, creepy doll. I got a whole bunch of them. I got 10 to be exact. And I looked the comps up on these. Um, oh. And they go for anywhere between like eight and 50 or $60 a head, it depends on the head. It, and I didn't really research the differences and why. But you can kind of figure between 8 and $15 for your standard um, antique or vintage baby head. Yeah, who knew? So creepy and so much fun. Um, but some of them can go as high as $50. But I may not... I don't, that one size doesn't open and don't open and close. Um, I may not, I may not sell them, or if I do, I may only sell a few of them. But I'm definitely happy to make a Halloween display of them this year. This is a really old one. Will it focus on her little head? Focus on the head. She's the bottom. Most of these, I think, are um, composition. They're not rubber. And they predate plastic, I believe. Let's get something in the bottom. This one's eyes close. Well, you just did it a minute ago. <laughs> they do close. Um, I need to get this. I'm going to show them to you because they're cool. Ooh, creepy. Creepy dog. His little eyes close. See? There we go. Took me all that time to figure out how to make them close for you and so that you could see them. But this one's kind of an interesting, I like that one, different. And then this one's a little darker skin one. But very cool. I like these. I like these a lot. Okay, two more. I have two larger items to show you. One I can show you right here because it's not too big. All right, so there's this sewing machine drawer and then inside are all these awesome flowers which she just gave me for free because one of the other members of our art group or the, they get together gave them to her so she just passed them on to me which I thought was very nice so I got that now the one thing how can I show you let's move you back see if I can do this. All right, so the last thing, which was probably, well, it was, it's not probably, it was the most expensive thing that I purchased there. I was so excited to get it. And again, I was digging around in boxes. I was hanging around on the floor. I was, you know, I was doing all kinds of stuff. And I saw her helper put this thing over and it wasn't too far away from me that she put it. And I jumped up immediately, saw the price, excuse me, I saw the price tag on it and I'm like, grabbed it. I have wanted one of these for a very long time and I, you cannot find them for complete like this. You cannot find them for less than $200 to $300. Although I did see some newer ones on eBay that were in the $150 range and actually some really new, just without the box things for less than that but the antique the vintage ones yeah so there's a lid I don't know can you guess what it is <laughs> Ta -da. Let's see if I can see through it so look at this look at this goodness do you guys know what this is I'll show you up close so this is a whole box of opticians lenses 
and there's both the gold tone brass I guess and the silver ones in there and I am just over the moon you know it's actually funny because not long ago a few years ago these were selling for ten dollars a piece at like shows and things that I would go to there are 136 if I remember correctly in my box that I counted and I got the box for $75 I'm such a happy girl, such a happy girl. All right, on that happy girl note <laughs> and the weirdness that I exude, I am going to sign off and I'm going to put all of my smalls in a different video with a different setup so you can see all that. That's going to be all kinds of really wonderful goodness for if you like smalls and you um, like that sort of thing, you're going to love the next video. So I'll see you in that video. Um, all my new subscribers, thanks so much for uh, subscribing. For anybody that's new, please subscribe. Please like. Give me the thumbs up. Tap the bell. Share with your friends. You know, all that good um, YouTube stuff. So, guys, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.